Hi everyone, it's Jillian and baby Claire here. Um, excuse me, I might cough at some point. She says hi because I'm getting over a cold. But today I wanted to talk to you about the pre-K trial. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions like, how do I do this? How do I extend it? Um, how do I deal with these little kids, you know? Maybe you're used to teaching kids that are a little bit bigger and this is something that's completely new to you. Maybe you are a completely new teacher and you honestly have no idea because, you know, you're just stepping into this and you don't know how to work with the little ones. And that's okay because that's what I am here to help you with. And I'm sorry, I'm, I've got my baby here and I'm entertaining her with a dog and a shrimp because props are good baby toys and she's going to make a mess. So anyways, yes, we all know how this works. You've got your apples and bananas pre-K fruit trial, right? And you see it's a three-year-old. You turn on the camera and the camera turns on and one or two things can happen. The first is what we hope for. Hi, hi. It's a little kid that's smiling and they're happy and they're ready to learn, and they've got their parent next to them, and everyone's happy, and yes, that happens sometimes. Like that, right? Yeah. But the other thing that can happen is you turn on the camera, and it's, and it's a kid that's running away from the camera, and mom's chasing after them. Yep, show me. She's demonstrating running. There's TPR for you. She's demonstrating running. Run, Claire, run! The baby's running away from the camera. And mom and dad are chasing after the baby. And, oh, come here, come here, sit down and let's just take your lesson. And you can do this in one or two ways, okay? The first way I don't recommend, and I think it's what a lot of teachers do, is it's, hi, hi. Oh, um, um. Ooh, hello, 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 hi, come here, come here, sit down, okay? That doesn't usually work. It might work, and you can try it, but if it doesn't work, you need to have a plan B. Yeah. You need to have a plan B, because if you don't, that camera is just going to turn off. Mom's going to say, I'm Hi. sorry, I'm sorry, we can't do this right now. So my plan B, and I'll actually, I'll actually, yes, I'll actually show you. Should I show them? Should I show them? So right now I'm on my laptop, but when I'm teaching, I'm on my iPad and I have my laptop sitting over here. And when I see that I have a pre-K a pre trial, with a new student that I have no idea what to expect. Hello. I have one particular song up, and I wait for that song to play. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up, point your finger down, put it on your head. Head! One little finger, one little... Okay, so what's really good about that song is, yes, that's super popular in America with American children, but that's also super, super popular with um, Chinese children. That's a song that they know. Most of them, it's like the ABCs. Like, for most of them, they know and love that song. They hear it, it's familiar, it's safe. So they start going, and if they, you know, even if they don't, mom might come over, and mom might be like, put it on your head, head, put it on your nose, nose, and, you know, now, now it's a game. You're no longer the intimidating person. After that song has finished, yes, you have now wasted two minutes of time, okay? But that's okay, because... You got the kid involved, you got them engaged, you got them playing. Yes, it may have taken two minutes to get them in there, but that's two minutes of time that would not have been had had the camera clicked off because the kid was just running away and not playing. You know, not running away, not playing with you, not engaging with you, not wanting to hit class. You like that song too, huh? I don't know if you saw this, but my 11-month-old was going like this with her finger. 
And I don't even know if she's ever heard that song aside from me in classes. Have you ever heard that song, Megan? I don't think I've ever played it for you. No, I don't because she doesn't do electronic. But anyway. Yeah. Oh, Daddy does? Yeah, blame it on her. So that's the first thing that I do. Now, chances are, um, if they're on pre-K, most likely they're going to stay on pre-K. Um, a lot of people want to know how to extend the level, what to do. I've heard so many people say, oh, to extend the level, have the kids draw. Have the kids draw. Have them be like, oh, draw an apple, and now you're wasting time drawing an apple. Okay? That is part of the slides. Or that That is, like, one of the slides, is to have them draw an apple. Have them, you know, you're drawing an apple, whatever. When I do drawing with the kids, I'm talking the, the entire time. This is not art class. I don't care if they can draw an apple. I want to hear them say apple. I want to hear them say banana. I want to hear them say grape. I want to hear them say I like it or whatever we're doing, okay? I don't want to see them draw something unless they can talk about it. So when you're spending so much time having them draw things, it's, it's an incredible waste of time. And personally, if I were the parent doing that trial, I'd be like, uh, I don't want to spend money on that. Like, if I wanted my kid to take an art class, my kid would take an art class. So that's my own personal opinion on that. And I'm, you know, maybe you're going to get a parent that likes the extra drawing. I do not. And I don't encourage it. And you can actually get a complaint for wasting time during a lesson. And please don't eat my narwhal, please. Okay. So there's other things that you can do. Chances are, if the trial is going that long, I don't have a problem with my trial. I like I personally, I don't have a problem with the apples and bananas trial. I think it's the perfect length. If it goes too fast, you're either going to through the slides too fast and not having them repeat enough. Um, that's really common for a new teacher too, Ow. because they can get nervous and just rush through it. Or they need to be bumped up. So try it. They go through the whole lesson and you've got 10 minutes left. Chances are they need to be bumped up. So bump them up to the next level. Bump them up. See if they can do monkey, eyes, ears, nose, all of that. See if they can do the cat, dog, fish, okay? Um, and then if they, you know, if, if they had a hard time on that, bump it back down to the apple level, to the pre-K level, and, you know, finish it up on there. But if they're doing pretty good... On the K trial? Yeah, listen to her. She knows what she's talking about. She thinks she does. Then have them do that. There are, there are extensions that you can do. She's got a doll. Yeah. Yeah, she's got a doll. This is Lucy. She's my classroom helper. There are natural extensions that you can do, too. Ooh, banana. I like bananas. I like bananas. I like bananas. Yeah. You know, um, banana, banana, banana. I like apples. Okay? Like, there's natural. But you're also doing big and small as part of that. So have the props. This is big. This is small. You know, big apple, small apple. There's there's enough content there to get you through. If you feel like there's not, bump them up. There's no shame in that. Even if you're wrong, you can bump them back down before you end the trial. It's totally okay. Um, those are just my suggestions. I really, really highly discourage spending extra time. Excuse me. Oh, we threw all of my props on the ground, and now we have no toys to play with. I highly discourage adding extra drawing time. The only time that I do extra drawing time is, um, for example, I'll do it during the during the um, the K trial when the, you have the monkey. Okay, we've got some time left, so I draw the monkey face, and I say, oh, "Happy monkey, happy! I am happy. I do happy, sad, angry with the angry filter. Kids get a kick out of that. Um, oh, sleepy." Oh, um, happy, angry, sad, and sleepy. Those are the ones that I do. And I'll have them draw and I'll say, you know, but when they're doing it, they're saying like, I am happy, I am sad. And usually I'm doing the drawing on the monkey for that because for the kids to do it, it takes too long and it's just a huge waste of time. 
Um, but they can do it if they jump in and do it. You know, you can either help them or you can let them finish. You can tell them, can you draw sad? Draw a sad monkey. Draw a happy monkey. Draw a oh, sleepy monkey. You get it. Um, but drawing is not something that should be overutilized in these lessons. Worksheets, I, I, don't, I don't agree with worksheets for the most part. I never use them in my class. Is there a time when they could be used? I'm sure. But I like my classes to be fun and engaging. And if the kids have extra time, or I know that they go through the content fast because they're fast learners, then we do free talk at the beginning. So I know about my kids. I know about my students. I know what grade they're in. I know how old they are. I know what they like. I can tell you that Elsa... Elsa plays hockey, and Max plays basketball, and Josh plays soccer, and um, Melody takes acting lessons, and she dances, and I can tell you what a lot of their parents do for work, and um, how many bedrooms are in their houses, and what color is their couch, because we just have free talk, and I try to relate it to the, their lesson. I can tell you what day most of my students are going back to school and whether or not they like school and what their favorite subject is because I take the time to extend in free talk with my students and get to know them and build a relationship with them. And oh, she's a handful today, isn't she? Because she's throwing everything. But that's super important too. Like classes are not, this is not just an English content class. Like you're learning how to speak English. They're learning how to have conversations, and please stop grinding your teeth. They're learning to, how to have conversations in English. So it's totally okay. We just like, you know, do you like school? I had one student tell me that they were going back to school tomorrow, and they were having a trampoline party. And we talked about it, and obviously I knew what it was. It's a bounce house. So they're going back to school, and they get a bounce house for school. How cool is that? So she got to learn the word bounce house in addition to, oh, what lesson was it? Um, I think it was the places in the community lesson. So, she, you know, she learned school and fire station and hospital and bounce house. Like, it's super cool when you get to do that. Obviously, that doesn't apply so much for the trials, but you still can get to know them in the trials. And I highly encourage it. You know, what's your name? How old are you? Um, if if they have, if they bring out a toy and, you know, they bring out a toy that's not in the lesson and they're sitting there and they're holding a stuffed dog, you go, oh, ooh, dog. And if you have a stuffed dog, bring it over. Hello, dog. Hello, dog. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Hello, dog. Can you hear that? She's grinding her teeth. Oh my goodness, you're too little to be doing that. You're too little to be doing that. But yeah, so that is my, um, those are my suggestions. Uh, extend with free talk if you are able. Extend on the lesson and add, I like it, I don't like it. Um, really, you know, learn big and small. And, um, if all else fails and the kids are just whipping through it too fast, they probably need to be bumped. Bump it up. Because there's nothing worse than being bored in school because it's too easy for you. So those are my suggestions. I have a little girl that has no toys left. Can you say bye? Well, say bye-bye. Stop grinding your teeth. Say bye. She doesn't want to say it. I'll say it for her. Oh, no, no, no. She's yelling at you for something. All right. Bye, guys. I'll see you guys later. And um, I really hope that this helps. If I did not cover something for some reason, um, probably because I'm too busy juggling a baby. If I missed something and I, something wasn't covered in this, uh, please just comment below. And I'll answer it in the comments. And make sure you follow or subscribe because I'm going to have some more things coming out that are going to be really super helpful for you. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.